Hey YouTube, what's going on? Well, I thought I'd do a video today talking about answering the question, why did I move into a truck camper? Fair enough question. I, I've been thinking about doing this for, for quite some time. Um, quite some time would be several years. I've been studying, reading, watching hours and hours of YouTube videos from some of the, the greats out there, if you will, in uh, van camping uh, world, uh, such as Chris Penn and Jeff the Canuck. Those are two that uh, strike the, strike a chord with struck a strike a chord with me when I was just discovering this lifestyle, if you will. And uh, so I watched a lot of their videos, and you know, my first thought was, you know, I, I think I could, I think I could probably do this. I think I could probably, the possibility existed for me to be able to. To, to, to do this, to live this lifestyle, and uh, make these changes, and it, you know, it was uh, it was hard, you know, and a uh, couple of, I had a couple of um, events in my life that happened that triggered uh, this shift to even uh, become something more more important, and something that, that made even more sense because of a couple of events that happened. Um, so, why did I move into a truck camper? Because I saw this as the way that I needed to change my life. And I saw this as, this would be the opportunity, this would be the vehicle for me to achieve ultimate freedom. And being able to go wherever I wanted to go, be able to, if I wanted to work here, I could work here and I could live there. And if I didn't like working there anymore or living there, I could pick up and move. I also wanted to be uh, completely debt free. And so that's what I did. I, uh, I purchased my truck camper. I bought it all cash. The truck that I, I have underneath it, uh, I had previously, I've owned that for a few years and that was in excellent condition. And uh, so uh, I'll get into another video talking about why did I decide on a truck camper. This video isn't about that. This is about why did I decide to move, you know, decide to do this. And so basically it came down to uh, freedom. And then, you know, I've also, I've had, uh, I've had two houses in my life. I've had uh, material possessions up the yin yang. I've had you know, I've, I've achieved a lot of a lot of goals and dreams around you know material things, and and I just never was getting a sense of fulfillment from having all of these things, if you will. You know, such as having this house that you know I had taken out a 15-year mortgage on, and you know, as years went by, I owed like another 12 years on it, and you know, and it's kind of like. Uh, this whole thing about you know at this future date you know where it's like you're you're not you know you're not living you're not living for today you're living for some future date in 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 the future that doesn't even it's not that doesn't even you know you don't know it doesn't even exist you know and so many people do that so many people they buy these houses and stuff and then uh, you know they you know I'm not I'm not saying don't buy a house that's I'm not doing I'm not talking about this to to uh, advocate, I'm just I'm just talking to you about my experience and you know some of my beliefs about about this. Um, but for me, I was just tired of just you know working you know working earning and you know paying all these taxes and and uh, on something that I didn't own. And you know you're really just when you own a house like that you know you. You're, you're fixed to that one location and you can't, you know, you know, if you don't like your job, you know, it's a, it's a real pain in the neck to, you know, like go and, you know, you have to find another one or whatever. Or maybe that, maybe this new job that you pick up is like somewhere else and then, oh crap, you know, now you've got a two hour commute, you know, so what do you do? You sell or rent the house, you know, it just becomes a, a major, uh, a major burden 
becomes a burden, if you will. You know, and at least for me, it did. It became, it just became this burden. And um, I'll just say, you know, I'm a single guy. I don't have any family. I don't have. Uh, I've got my immediate family, but I don't have any children of my own. So it definitely was. It was a. It was pretty simple to make this shift to do what. It was pretty simple, but you know, there's are there are people out there on YouTube that have kids and, and wives and and they're they're making it happen. They're on the road. They're living in their RVs and they are living a healthier and happier existence than they previously were. So for me, that was largely my my decision. And then, of course, the economics. Um, side of things, you know, I've just been seeing where things have been going in this country and, and uh, jobs and, you know, the economics, uh, there's a lot of uncertainty right now. And, you know, uncertainty of, you know, well, maybe I need to pick up and move, you know, and, and you know, it's sort of like the old settlers and their uh, covered wagons, you know, they, uh, they had to move a lot, you know, and, and I see that our country... Uh, to some extent, in some industries, that is what's happening. Some people are, are having to relocate and move to go where work is. Um, so I'm kind of jumping all over the place a little bit. But to go back to the house situation and some of the material possessions, I also decided that I wanted to live a more simpler existence and really downsize to the things that I absolutely need to live my life. And, you know, I don't need all this stuff. I need, like, one thing that is of high quality and that can maybe do a couple of other purposes. You know, a tool, uh, you know, clothing. You buy, you know, one good one garment that is, is high quality and will last a long time and you take good care of it. So... I've adopted that philosophy in my life with a lot of things and to trying to downsize and to limit the things I need, you know, so that I can. So the whole purpose behind this, again, it's freedom and being able to pursue the lifestyle that I want now, today, not some time in the distant future that, uh, you know, we don't, we don't know about. Um... I just had another thought, you know, I spoke to a guy that I met uh, in town here near the waterfront, and we were just talking about things, and uh, one thing he mentioned, you know, was about these people that, you know, they work 40 years of their life, for 40 years, and then they go out and they purchase an RV, they purchase, uh, you know, a Class A, a $200,000 Class A motorhome, and he was just saying that most of these people that do this, they only live or use their motorhomes for like 10 years, and then they're done. And it's over. I mean, the next step for them is either in the grave or in a nursing home or, I mean, they're just done. You know, they're spent. So there's also that part of, I mean, I'm kind of bouncing all over the place, but I'm just kind of giving you some, some good reasons and some ideas to, 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 to consider this lifestyle so that those are the those are the main reasons that I've without rambling on too long those are those are the main reasons and then of course to be able to change my life uh, to be able to go in new directions to be able to stop talking about wanting to do things and do them because I don't have anything shackling or chaining me down to, you know, I, uh, with the lifestyle I'm in right now, I can live very, very affordably. Uh, and so that allows me a lot of things, time to pursue other things. Maybe, I, maybe because my, because I might, I don't have very, my expenses are so low. Maybe I only need to work, take a part-time job or maybe a full-time job that doesn't pay great, but it will allow me time to pursue these other activities that, um, would eventually open up even more free time. So maybe that's you know, writing books or videos or real estate investing or allowing me time to you know pursue these other things. Or just if it's just hobbies, if it's just 
you want to go down to the beach and, and fish every day or you want to fly a fly a kite you know maybe not every day but you'll have time in your life because you're not in the rat race per se chasing you know the houses and the bigger houses and the ferraris and the you know whatever i mean you know i mean if that's your thing then then great you know but if you know, if you wake up and you realize that, wow, you know, I really don't have to do that. I have options to me and I have choices. And I think, you know, but it's, it's, it's challenging to make this shift. It really is. It's, it's challenging because it's going against the grain and everybody that you talk to about, uh, in your sphere of influence, it isn't doing this. Uh, they're going to think you're, they're going to think you're crazy. They're going to, they're going to think, why, why would you want to do that? And, you know, and, uh, cause it has this kind of stigma to it, but, with today, um, with you know everything and business and stuff, everything being online, you know, if you have a Wi-Fi connection, you can pretty much do anything anywhere if you have a good Wi-Fi connection. And then, of course, there's free Wi-Fi, you know, at uh, McDonald's and libraries and a whole host of other places. So you don't have anything really holding you back in that regard. So. I think I've rambled on enough for, for, for this video. Those are some of the reasons why I decided to move into my truck camper. Take care, YouTube. We'll see you later.